like to welcome Ms. Donna Bush today. Hey everybody, today is July 22nd, 2022, and it's day three of our mega summer road trip. And today we're back at Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They have special summer things going on. They have a nighttime fireworks and drone show, special summer food, all sorts of shows and entertainment. And of course, we're really excited to ride some of our favorite rides and coasters. So I hope you're ready for a fun day here at Dollywood. Let's go. All right, we've got our gold season passes, but right as we're coming in, I'm noticing this harvest festival sign. So I think we're gonna have to come back for great pumpkin luminites. We gotta do it, Sam. We might have to. Yeah. When? I don't know. We got a busy hunt yeah. season, don't we? We do. But maybe we could squeeze it in. We have to. Are you excited to be back at Dollywood? Very excited. Yay, let's go in. Let's go. Already coming in, they have a brand new photo op for the summer celebration, so gotta do it. All right, we'll take you three pictures. One, two, three. And we're in easy peasy, and there's another summer celebration photo op here. <laughs> Dollywood summer celebration. We'll put something magical in there. As part of the summer celebration, they have specialty food and drinks, and look, they replaced the umbrellas with kites. It looks like the theme they're going for is roadside attractions, which we love. So this is Kite Sky, and look at the shadow it makes on the floor. That is so summery and so pretty. We're playing some Beach Boys, I like it. We've got some wait times here. Oh no, Blazing Fury's temporarily closed. None of the lines look too long. Lightning Rod's longest, Fire Chaser Express second longest. We're definitely gonna ride both of those, but we purchased time savers. All right, so I'm guessing, Sam, you wanna do Lightning Rod first, huh? I mean, we'll just have a look. <laughs> yeah, we'll do Lightning Rod first. We'll just head that way. Yeah, and see what happens. Also, as part of the Summer Celebration Festival, they have these festival shops with special summer merchandise. The next Dollywood roadside attraction, the Water Hose fountain we gotta go to that I love that Dollywood has reinvented the world of roadside attractions here now there are some hoses that have like an intense bit of water and then some that just have a mist yeah now under the blue one That is awesome for a hot summer day. I love Dollywood. Dollywood really is a beautiful park. There's Lightning Rod. Oh yeah, we're doing it. First up, Lightning Rod. This is a wonderful hybrid roller coaster and RMC. We love our RMCs. All right, Lightning Rod. We have our Time Saver Pass. So we're gonna go ahead and ride. Always gotta stop in for the factory tour first. They also have a single rider entrance and a wheelchair entrance. Also while I was on the tram, the tram driver talked about how if you have a child that's like short under a certain height, you can take them uh, to a booth right in front and they'll give them a color-coded wristband and it corresponds to a map to show them what rides they're tall enough for by color. I think that is genius. They also have an ADA booth that can help you let you know what rides are accessible and how to ride them. I think it's awesome. Like this whole coaster is very smooth. I know they've like done some work to make it smoother and it worked because it just has such a nice flow. It feels so smooth and fun. You just feel like you're flying through the mountains. It's great.
these fans when you walk into stores. Here's another one. So the summer celebration is presented by Bush's Best, so beans. So of course they've gotta have the largest bean can. That is so cute. I love the colored wraps on the trees too. We're actually gonna purchase a festival tasting pass. There's just like music and performance all over the park. This is so fun. We got tasting passes. We've got more festival fare here. Here's our first round. We're gonna share the fried fish and hush puppies, a shaker salad, and a blueberry tea. This looks really good. And they've got this cute little seating area with a farm fresh setup. And we can see the fountain and the drummers from here. That is very good. Very, very good. Salad shaking time. I love that they did this. This is so clever because eating salads in theme parks is so hard just because of the logistics. They're like a mess to eat. And this, perfectly mixed. Put some lemon all over it. Oh yeah. Fish looks nice actually. Yeah, it does look nice actually. It's like a nice piece of fish too. Let's see what it looks like inside. That's the true test. Salad. Yeah, I'm gonna try the mm. salad. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Mm-hmm. This actually tastes really fresh. It just tastes like a nice fresh filet of fish that is fried up really nicely. Like, that's really good. Mm. The salad's great too. Hush puppies are a little dry, but the fish is great. The lemonade, or tea, blueberry iced tea is great, and the salad's great. The Hydro Jive Junction are performing. <laughs> So they bring out beach balls and let kids play in the fire hydrant. It is so cute. Here at Dollywood, they've got the recreation of Dolly's Tennessee Mountain Home. I love it. I always pop in for a quick look. It's a replica of the Parton Home Place. And you can take a look inside. And they carefully recreated all these beautiful details to give you an idea of how Dolly Parton grew up. January 1946. I just love these types of details and this is the kind of thing that separates Dollywood from other theme parks. The focus on her life, her music, and her vision. All right, let's keep going. The water flume is a man-made elevated river to carry the power that the water creates in its ever-flowing stream throughout the valley and village. Of course, we always have to stop and look at the water clock. And there's another group performing on the stage over here. Yeah, dream on, dream on. Smoky Mountain Christmas Cottage. You know whenever I see a year-round Christmas store, I have got to pop in. And there's only 157 days till Christmas, so you can never be too prepared. <gasps> we need a Dollywood ornament, don't we, Sam? Yes, we do. I yeah. walk in here, it just makes me instantly Christmas spirited. Me too! Here are the Dollywood ornaments that we've been looking for. Look at these, they have like little quotes. If you don't like the road you're walking, start paving another one. It's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. Ain't that the truth, Dolly? Dolly, queen of country. They have Santa in a red pickup. It says Dollywood on it. They have a Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas, which hopefully we can come out to this year. Oh, this one I think is my favorite. Oh, maybe this one actually. Records. Cool. But I like this one because it has the roller coasters on it. Yeah, I agree. And it's like the park. And it's a snow globe. That's very pretty. Okay, we'll get that one. What are we looking at here? Uh, $15. There are different paths to get where we want to go, but we've decided to take the steep hill. Owens Farm Barnstormer. I know you all know where we're walking to. But on the way, you see the blacksmith. So let's pop in. They have these cute little healthy tips all over the park. Even though this is only my second time at Dollywood, I'm already establishing traditions. And one of them is that I always walk through the Robert F. Thomas Chapel. They actually hold Sunday services here. And if I was ever here when that was going on, I would certainly attend.
this I think is probably my favorite part. It says the world is filled with beauty when your heart is filled with love. We also purchased the cup. Tell us about the cup, Sam. The cup is $15 or $14 something with your gold season pass discount. Uh -huh. And you get refills for the day. If you want to refill it for the season, it's 99 cents. <laughs> Sold. Sold. <laughs> no, Blazing Fury, my favorite ride. I did see it was down in the app, but it didn't say it was down for maintenance. It just looked like it was like temporarily down. This is my favorite ride and I'm so sad. Oh no. All right, they said there's a chance it could reopen today. So this isn't like a, like a scheduled long maintenance or anything. It's just something that's going on today. So we'll just keep trying back and hopefully it'll reopen later. Another roadside attraction, the Noodle Takeover. It's pool noodles, so cute. Another tradition, always look at the schoolhouse. The Calico Falls Schoolhouse. It's meant to represent a 1901 schoolhouse. And here are the rules a teacher would have had to abide by. No marrying during term of your contract, etc., etc. I love the displays in front of the shops. And I love popping in to see everything they have. So at Dollywood, instead of ears, you wear butterfly wings on your head. And they have different colors. That is very cute. I can see this becoming a booming industry. Talk about blowing off steam. hey -o. Another roadside attraction, the Parachute Play Party. All right, now we're gonna see if we can get a, um, uh, we got an umbrella out of this. they've got a bubble show going on so we're making our way over there for the next show time here it is the gazillion bubble show so we're gonna pop in and watch this look at this cool like bubble thing they've got it's called the gazillion bubble show Aurora don't miss the opportunity to see unpredictable bubble creations and soapy masterpieces that will have the entire family smiling during this unbelievable performance heavy on the bubble puns I like it and it looks like it's gonna rain soon so this is a perfect time Unbelievable. I want one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera away. Just a quick view of the theater. It looks really, really cool. And I'll let you know the show was after. So he just said, even though the sign says no filming or photos, that we could take as many photos as we want. So I guess I will be able to show you a little bit of the show. I didn't film any of the beginning because of the sign, but I'll show you a little bit of uh, the rest of it. And three, two, you go. Let's go. 
girls, how did you guys enjoy the show? We loved it! You all have been a fabulous audience. I want to thank you so much for being here today, and I do hope to see you again. Until then, have a great day in Dollywood, everybody. Take care. Denny Yang would like for you to visit the gazillion bubble tent across from the theater exit for photos and oh, maybe cool. to take a gazillion bubbles home with you. I'll do that. Thank you for attending the gazillion bubble show and enjoy the rest of your day at Dollywood. Alright, I'm coming to you after the show to tell you that there was a sign outside that said no filming or video recording, so I just assumed I wouldn't be able to show you the show. So I just put my camera away and we got seats in the back. Then the bubble artist told us, I know the sign says that, but don't worry about it. You can take as many photos and videos as you want. He had kids up on stage, he was having him pose with their families. So I uh, recorded some of the show after that for you. It was really fun. And I think probably there were a gazillion bubbles. And they're still coming, they're still coming. It was fun. It was fun. Was really cool. Yeah. The lasers were really cool, right? So if you want to be like encased in bubbles, you want to be up in the front. Now we sat back here, which was cool because no one's in front of you if you sit like on this front row. Um, you can't see the lights from the like control boards over here, but no big deal. But the bubbles did reach us. There are bubbles everywhere. And it's a great way to cool down from the heat outside. Yeah, I feel way cooled down, don't you? Yeah. Boop. After the show, there's a booth where you can buy like bubble wands and bubble things this kind of stuff all kinds of bubble toys all right we've been seeing these signs everywhere have you seen if seen contact ned oakley at the outpost so we need to call ned oakley i set up this hotline to gather tips about an especially big bear i'm guessing you've got some information since you called this number i've been hearing stories about this bear rolling these hills and hollers for years those who've seen him swear that he's the largest bear they ever seen. These are mountain folk who are accustomed to bears. <laughs> Others don't believe that they say big bears just an old wives' tale. Well, that may be so, but I'm on the lookout to prove once and for all that big bear is real. And lives right here in Wildwood Grove. I plan an excursion to go searching for big bears starting next spring. Next spring. Come help me look. If you seem big bear, have some information, better yet, some evidence related to his whereabouts, see me at the Adventure Outpost Base Camp in Wildwood Grove. So it sounds like they are teasing something about Big Bear coming in the spring. Let's see if we can see anything at base camp, right? Here we go. We gotta go for a ride. Fire Chaser Express. So they've got these street signs here that matches with the whole roadside attraction theme for the summer. I like the wait time for this. Your adventure begins in 15 minutes. Fire Chaser Express. This is a really fun family coaster. It's a good time. We're gonna be heroes. We're gonna sign up today. Wilderness Pass. Here in the queue they've got fire hoses and they've got signatures on them so I bet it looks like they were signed by a bunch of firefighters so that's cool. Available if you want to use them, but pretty much every ride at Dollywood 
that I can remember has bins where you can just put them in the bin, ride, grab it, which is one of my favorite things. I, I love that. It makes the day so much more fun and comfortable. This is also the second time I've seen a cooler with these little mini meals, pickles, cold beverages, little sandwich meals, and I just think that's really nice. Here's another roadside attraction. This is why we were seeing bubbles floating around. The foam zone, bubble foam zone. Even just standing by this geyser, you're getting splashed. And there's foam everywhere. <laughs> this is cool. It looks like clouds. So there's a kid foam pit and an adult foam pit, but the adult foam pit is closed right now. Something's going on in there. They're cleaning it up or something. It is. Quick pop on mystery mine, of course, has to be done. I kind of love it, mostly just for the song. I love that facade. Normally this vulture has a little chat with you about the mystery mine, but looks like he's just not even on at all today. Huh. It's very cool animatronic when it's on though. Best ride song. to the old track from when they fixed this up. That's so crazy. We're gonna head into Wildwood Grove. I think there's a summer uh, food festival booth in there. Maybe we'll get something to eat, see what's going on in there. Uh, and maybe we can find out more about the bear situation, right? Wildwood Grove is Dollywood's newest expansion, so far at least. And here's the story. It's a long story, so you can read it. I like that you enter through these, like tree, it's like tree cave. We're gonna go inside the till and harvest food hall. So they do have a full menu of food that looks really good, but two items for the summer food festival they have in here are the BBQ burger and the cheese empanada. We have a nice shaded seat here with the duckies. This actually looks nice. Came with some sauce here. I like a chimichurri sauce. Mmm, cheesy. Yeah, it's kind of mozzarella-ish. It kind of tastes like the kind of cheese you would make in like fried cheese dishes, but it's very good. And this is a full size burger. Like this isn't a tiny sampler festival burger. Like this is giant. So we are gonna devour this. Inspired by spinning tops, los trompos. You can get inside and be spun around. Get in your cage. Coming in for a spin? Nah, you go on. Woo! Uh, hold on. <laughs> Well, we can definitely see some evidence of the bear. Sam, do you see it? See His it. claw marks and paw prints, yeah. and also a big giant pile of construction happening back there. So we can assume this is maybe a new ride, maybe a new expansion, something bear related. There's another roadside attraction, Sweet Summer Nights. There's gonna be a, a dance party tonight. We're gonna attend that. Looking at this wait time sign, it looks like Blazing Fury's back open, which I'm very happy about. But 
first we're going to ride Thunderhead. Okay, heading out of this area. Thunderhead is a wooden roller coaster. It shakes you right up, but we both really like it, so we're gonna ride it. Enjoy your trip on the wildest ride in the woods as you try to tame the Thunderhead. Time saver. All right, we got you all clear. If you were to go to Bear Mountain, make some noise. Woo! Awesome to see you guys back here in Chinatown again. You can see real well from the hill, so if you see anything, let me know when you come back, all right? All around the park. If you hear anything about that bear, go ahead, call the phone number on it. Right. All right, I'm standing in a fan. We love wooden roller coasters. I don't know why, they just rattle you around. They're so wild and they're so fun. I love them. This one feels so fast. Like, it just feels really fast when you're on it and it shakes you around like crazy. One thing I thought was really cool was the ride announcer uh, was talking about the bear posters and they were really promoting it. I think it's going to be a new coaster because we saw the footers actually for it. I'm actually surprised that Dollywood didn't already have a bear themed roller coaster that is so perfect and it looks like it's going to take up a lot of land area. It's backed by Wildwood Road, but we can see it from here. A huge construction area and that's the damage the bear is doing, which is just so, so cool. I love it. And they were announcing the phone number to call if you see anything and I, I think that's such a great way to promote a new ride. But yeah, we love this ride. This is Dollywood's version of the Sword in the Stone. Let's see if Sam can do it. Not worthy. No? You were worthy in my eyes. Oh, that's what I'm yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use these to try to get some ice cream. Ooh, it's time. I'm really impressed with the portion sizes you get with the tasting pass, or even just purchasing the festival items. They're like full size. This is cookies and cream, but they did give you the option to get vanilla if you wanted, but of course I had to get cookies and cream. They have these fountain machines everywhere where you can refill your refillable cups and you can also get water. So I've been getting like ice water, refilling my water bottle. It's been wonderful, really helpful because it's so hot out there. A little unexpected ice cream break, but now it's time. Fire in the hole. Hopefully, hopefully. Fire in the hole! Blazing Fury is back open, woohoo! Yes, let's go. This is the sign they had. Up earlier, it's down. Okay, here we go. I like the little Dalmatian up there. We love, 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 love Blazing Fury. Fire in the hole! It's a wonderful ride about a town on fire. Yeah. I got a week back. It's good stuff. Well, all right, that was a lot of fun. We visited the saloon, all the things. It's like a dark ride with like a mini roller coaster. It's really fun. We're getting closer to dusk, and we popped over for another dusky ride on Lightning Rod. Can't come to Dollywood without a ride on the Dollywood Express. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All, All aboard! aboard! I said who's <laughs> ready for a train ride? We are! There we go. That's much more like it. One, two, three. Howdy! Great job, everyone. Now folks, look into the engine room and wave to our fireman Al. Come on, give him a wave. And wave to our drone crew out there. They're getting all those little drones that are going to light up the night sky. Oh, cool. We'd like to thank you for riding with us today on the Dollywood Express. So last time we rode the Cinderella, and this time we got to ride the Klondike Katie. Oh, Thunderhead's lit up. Cool. Okay, we're back in Wildwood Grove. This is where the nighttime summer dance party's happening. And this is where you can view 
the nighttime drone and fireworks show and everybody in the park is making their way this way and look at that beautiful sunset. I think we found the summer party. So the tree here is full of butterflies and it's all lit up at night. Oh, I love it. Jake, show them how to shake it all. Shake it up. it out. All right, shake it off. Shake it off. Wow. We're hanging out, the dance party's happening, we're waiting for the nighttime fireworks and 3D drone show. Neither of us has ever seen a drone show, so I'm very excited. And the atmosphere is really fun, it's like a summer night party. Nice and loud. Are you doing the dance? That's so cool.
see Dollywood at night. This is our first time seeing it at night. And I think on a future trip, probably trying to like get some night rides in during that show would be something we would absolutely consider. Even though we loved the show, I'd love to ride some rides at night. Wait a hot dang minute. Dollywood summer celebration shirt. That is the one. Yeah, me too. Very cute, the cinnamon bread shirts. I love them. I like this one too. It's soft material. We will always love you too, Dolly. And that concludes our day here at Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Our first time being here at night. Our first time ever seeing a drone show at all. And our first time seeing fireworks or any type of nighttime show here. And we loved it. It's interesting, the drone show, I equate it more to like, like a planetarium laser light show. If any of you ever saw one of those, where it's like shapes that kind of go along with the stories. Very, very cute. I think my favorite was, um, at first it was the person with the balloon, like, and the little gusts of wind out of drones. That was really cute. And then it was the mountain uh, with the sun rising over it. That was so nice. We just had a great time, and we're both so happy that we purchased those season passes because it means anytime we're passing through, we can stop into Dollywood, and it means when we see those uh, signs up for like Halloween events and Great Smoky Mountain Christmas that we know we can attend those and also the discount that you get with the gold season pass we've gotten on all of our merchandise and food I'm glad that we bought the photo pass too because we can get like ride pics and all the pics they take around the park I just really love it I think it's a wonderful value I think they treat guests so nicely even though it was so so hot like so hot we still had just an absolutely wonderful time. It didn't dampen our spirits, even though we are damp from sweating all day. <laughs> but yeah, just there are wonderful rides here, good food, good times. Just love Dollywood, so we'll definitely be back again. Again, this is day three of our mega road trip this summer. Of course, there is like a nationwide heat wave going on, and we'll be visiting many, many other states on this trip, so we can expect for it to be a hot one, a hot and fun one. So we're gonna make our way back to the hotel now and tomorrow there's more adventures. So stay tuned for all the fun stuff we'll be doing on the road trip. Thank you so much to everyone for all the love and the kindness and your comments and teaching me about honking and mountain tunnels and all the cool stuff. I love learning about those things. I mean, that's the fun of travel and also connecting. So thank you so much everybody once again. I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video and until then, as always, stay enthused, bye.